Right, hi guys, so I'm just going to quickly run over this one hour swordfish trade that we took on the DAX this morning. Um, and I'll go over why I sort of didn't use the advanced risk management techniques that we, we teach ourselves um, and why we took the full loss. So uh, this is the one hour chart, as you can see, we've had this really strong move down uh, into this zone. This is the zone where we bought the 12300 area. Um, we had a really strong move down. I mean, it was basically from 12440 down into 12300 so it was a 140 point move um, when ATR at the moment, 5 day ATR is less than 100, it's only 96 points so it was nearly 150% uh, ATR move down into it without any retrace um, and as you can see we had um, some um, support, uh, it's acted as support here in this area here uh, sort of in this area here as well, um, let me just, uh, so uh, support there, uh, support uh, there, a couple of times actually there and there, uh, we actually had some resistance uh, here as well, so as you can see uh, resistance there, support there, support there, even potentially actually a bit of support it's slightly um, above our zone but some support there as well, so yeah, it's it's acted as support and resistance several times in in the last sort of uh, week or so. Um, and twelve three hundred actually, if you go to the daily chart as well, um, this middle zone here is the three hundred level, and as you can see, it has it's not a really key level, but it's acted as sort of resistance in there, bit of support there, bit of resistance there, bit of support there. So it's uh, and again support there. So it has uh, been a level in the past as well. So um, it was quite a nice area to buy from, being oh, being extended, being with the overall trend, uh, bottom of the range that had been created over the last sort of week or so. Um, so it had a lot of a lot of things going for it, and, and as we said, we was really extended the um, the low low of the Bollinger Band. There was uh, if we just pull this down, the low of the Bollinger Band there was twelve three seventy. So um, we were sort of yeah sixty seventy points um, outside the Bollinger Band um, as well. So. Uh, those were the reasons why we like the trade, um, and then if I go and show you how uh, and why we managed it, so if we go down to the three minutes, so once in the trade I do actually manage this from the three minute chart, as you can see these, we broke through this zone here impulsively, um, and as we mentioned in the impulsive corrective session, uh, we want to be waiting for the key levels and the extended areas of the market before we go against that. And this, for me, was um, was one of those areas that we could look to buy from. So we entered in here. Uh, this was the weekly low at 12.303.5. So we actually entered at 12.306, which was a two-point front run of that level. Um, that's where we got that entry from. Um, and our stop was down here at 12276 uh, there uh, and obviously we're going for equal risk to reward so we was going for a target up here at 12336 up here now uh, the market triggered in now in um, a lot of instances, we triggered into the trade here. We've created our swing low, um, and I would actually then move my would have moved my stop to a break of this swing low. So the low created there was um, twelve two ninety eight. Uh, so I would have had it at twelve two ninety five, two ninety six, something like that uh, around there. So that's where I would have tightened my stop to. We would have had eleven twelve point stop. Um, reduced our risk considerably almost to a third, maybe about 0.4%, something like that, or four tenths of whatever your um, your original stake size was. Um, however, I didn't for a particular reason today. As I mentioned, we we, we had an unfilled, an unfilled extreme gap at 93. So I was aware, although we'd come within 10 points of this unfilled X gap, I was aware that it was still potentially open. Um, and I thought maybe if we could come down and hit that, and then we would move on. So that's sort of what I was aware of and why I didn't um, reduce the risk on that trade to a break of that swing low. We then came down. We broke the uh, swing low here. We broke the um, 
um, broke the Anfield X gap here, but we didn't actually create a swing low. We never actually then turned back up. So unfortunately here, um, we never actually created a swing low to get my stop in behind it until we actually got taken out there. So that's why we um, we took a full stop. I mean, I guess if you wanted a close and break, that has closed down. You could have made it, maybe moved it to a, st a break of that bar there. Um, but that's that would have saved you maybe four or five points. Um, so in the grand scheme of things, maybe not so not so much. Um, but yeah, I mean that that's the reason why I didn't use the advanced risk management of trying to maybe move my stop below this this one here. So I hope that makes sense from that perspective as well. Now um, we then if, let me let me just remove these one second. Right, so when I go back and I have a look at the trade, I sort of sit there and think, okay, what could I have done differently? Now, obviously, um, we could have used the advanced risk management techniques we use and uh, we, we, we teach, and we could have cut uh, there for a lower risk. Um, now, I've already explained my reasons as to why I didn't do that, so hopefully that makes sense. Um, sometimes you do just have to... You, you have your stop in place, um, and that's the maximum you're... Um, uh, willing to accept on a loss and sometimes that will happen um, we're obviously always looking to um, tighten risk but if it doesn't make sense and in that instance I thought it made sense to maybe allow it a little bit more room um, but what else could I have done now there was actually an unfilled closing gap um, at 68 uh, down here now as you can see actually that is the level that sort of held it um, now there is an argument to sort of sit there and say okay well why didn't you put your stop behind there if you knew that level was there well the argument for that is well we had the monthly high here at 254 um, so if you start moving it below 268 you then need to move it below 254 as well which means you're then going to have a 50 60 point stop um, which at the moment is about 60-70% ATR. Um, so it didn't really make sense to start having that stop. What I would rather do is what I sort of advised was take the loss on that trade and look to re-enter from around here um, from the 254 level, which was the monthly, monthly high, um, and look to re-enter from there for the reaction. Now, unfortunately, uh, we've come down and we've actually reacted from that closing gap we haven't quite made the monthly high, which was the entry point that I wanted to to, to recover from, um, and we have now put in this this retracement. So it's a little bit unfortunate. Um, a couple of things that we could have done maybe slightly differently, and if you did do those things, that's completely okay. Um, but also those those sorts of things that we could have done differently are all very much with the benefit of hindsight. When I think about it rationally and I follow the process and the reasons as to why I didn't. Um, do what I did and why I or sort of should I say why I did do what I did I think um, I think I traded it fine so it and it's just one of those unfortunately that lost so I hope you found that useful um, just going through the thought process as to why um, we did what we did or why I did uh, why we traded it and why we didn't use those advanced risk management techniques as well so um, yeah I hope you guys found it useful and let me know if you have any questions cheers guys